What is up Treehouse Faithful? Welcome back to the channel. Michael and I are hanging out in the tap room today and we're talking about some of the beverages we're the most excited about as we head into June of 2023. All right guys, so the first thing that I want to talk about are the gems of our New Zealand trip that we had this past March. Those of you that have been watching the channel for some time now, you're familiar with that trip. If you're new to the channel, there's a whole playlist about that journey down under into New Zealand, linked down below. These four beers in particular kind of unify one thing for us, which is that trip. And what's most special about all four of these beers is that they are representative of the freshest New Zealand hops you will ever have on this continent. Treehouse paid air freight value to have this stuff sent directly to us. So if you can imagine these hops were harvested in the field. They were immediately pelletized. Freshy boy Nelson, I'm actually gonna... They were sent straight to the airport and then they were sent straight to Treehouse. And here they are in front of us in these four beers right here. This guy is Eureka with Peacherine, featuring that hop that you've heard us talk so much about as a single hop in the classic Eureka base, and my God, is it delightful. Second is Unity. Unity actually features the beautiful Wanaka tree of the town of Wanaka in New Zealand. And this guy is loaded with Freestyle Hops 2023 Nelson, and it is spectacular. If you are a fan of this hop, this beer will make you smile ear to ear. It represents everything that's great about New Zealand hops, especially Nelson Sauvin and none of those bad things that you can get from that hop when they're not in optimal condition. Next beer I wanna highlight is Jubilee. Jubilee is a beer that we thought was worthy of the classic tree with cursive font label. We don't do that very often. In fact, we've only done it twice in the last four years. So that tells you how much we think of Peacherine. And the Peacherine within this batch is the first Peacherine on the continent in North America that you'll get in any brewery anywhere in the United States. So for me, that's really, really special. It may feel like just another can from Treehouse, but the truth is there's a ton of heart, a ton of energy, and a ton of investment that went into bringing you this beer the way that it's presented in this can. And then last but not least is a beer that's called Silver Fern. The Silver Fern is the symbol of New Zealand. And this guy is a kitchen sink of hops that we experienced on that trip. Loaded with Nelson, Peacherine, Matueka and Waimea. And together, quite frankly, this makes one of my favorite hoppy beers that we've literally ever made. It's so rich and so fruity, and when you pour it into the glass, it's that beautiful, milky, hop-saturated, opaque color that you only get when you combine all those New Zealand hops. So, Silver Fern, we don't have a lot of it left. If you're interested in trying it, I recommend moving quickly. So that's the New Zealand 2023 pair. Once again, these were all air freighted to us directly. You'll never experience these hops more fresh than you will in these cans. All right, guys, so moving on to our distillery. Once again, if you're not familiar with our distillery, we built one right down here in the warehouse at Treehouse. In fact, there's a tour on this channel of that distillery. And for us at Treehouse, we strongly believe in having our hands in everything that we do. And for us to make a ready-to-drink cocktail, for example, and purchase spirits from somewhere outside the brewery, that would not fall within our ethos. So for Treehouse, we built a distillery from the ground up. Very proud to have done so. And all the spirits that we make utilize grains that are grown and malted right here in the Northeast, which is another thing we're very proud of. So the beverage that I wanna highlight from the distillery program today is Percy's Gin and Tonic. This is the third time we've canned this guy. We spent a lot of time really trying to get this right. Now the first iteration of our Gin and Tonic, 12% alcohol in a 12 ounce can, turned out that was maybe a little bit too much. Second iteration, we reduced the alcohol content we made it 7% alcohol, but we left the lime out. And for you to call it a ready to drink cocktail, it should mean you crack it open and you're ready to drink it. So for a gin and tonic, that means naturally adding lime. So in the latest iteration of Percy's gin and tonic, we have lime. So there's no need to get your knife out. There's no need to cut a lime, crack it open, pour it into the glass. And let me tell you, it's just, so dialed in right now. If you're a fan of gin, fan of gin and tonic, fan of gin and tonic with lime, you are going to love this iteration of Percy's. It's available right now in every Treehouse location for your convenience. All right, so the next product that I wanna highlight from the distillery is a delightful hoppy gin called Hildegard von Bingen. I'll leave it up to you guys to Google the name. 
but Hildegard was a famous German polymath who had incredible amounts of scientific output, notably which was documenting hops' effects on the body and utilizing hops as an antiseptic when utilized in beer brewing. She was one of the first people to notate that throughout history, and she deserves a lot of credit for hops being in beer the way that they are today, among many other contributions to science and the like. This particular gin starts with a base of all Northeast grown malt, and then from there it's hopped with Cascade and Simcoe. So rather than making this gin fruity, we sort of aim toward that more resinous, delicious, piney, West Coast style flavor to really cut through your cocktails when you make them. So speaking of cocktails, how do you use a hoppy gin? Well, for us, tonic water and gin, hoppy gin and tonic, maybe something like a hoppy bee's knees. You add some lemon juice, a little bit of honey, some grapefruit bitters, and then an ounce or two of Hildegard, and you're gonna have yourself a delicious time with a delicious hopped gin cocktail. So that's Hildegard von Bingen. It has this beautiful embossed label, which is a first for us and our distillery team and design team. And it's just quite the product all around that we're proud to present to you guys. All right, so the next product I wanna highlight comes from our coffee team. If you're not familiar with the Treehouse Coffee Roastery, we have one right here in house, just like the distillery where the team sources, roasts, and cold brews our own coffee beans right here in house for your enjoyment. For us, that creates an awesome circle of feedback for the beer program. And it also creates, it enables us to bring you coffee as freshly as humanly possible. The coffee that I want to highlight today is a coffee that the coffee team gets extremely excited about. It's called Pink Bourbon, and it's from Colombia. Each year, this varietal we source from different farms. And this time, this particular lot comes out with this incredible pink lemonade character and something that David, our head roaster, describes as fruity pebbles. You might be saying to yourself, a coffee that tastes like pink lemonade and fruity pebbles, that sounds crazy. Let me tell you something, you gotta try it. Because the truth is, it really does. And it's really, really, really pleasant. There's not too much acidity in the coffee. And the flavor profile is just exploding with expressive and delicious fruit notes that are very unique to this region and to this coffee. So Columbia Pink Bourbon, it's available both as cold brew and as whole beans for you to, to grind and extract on your own at home. The last beverage that I wanna to highlight today is Almighty Julius. Almighty Julius is our first triple IPA rendition of Julius. And for us, it's a beer that I feel like we've worked 11 years to get to the point to feel comfortable to brew. Without Treehouse, Julius wouldn't exist, and without Julius, Treehouse wouldn't exist. It's our flagship. We sell more of it than any other beer that we make. So we hold it in such high regard and such esteem that we frankly don't like messing with it. it. Might sound a little counterintuitive because we've released a lot of iterations of it, but it's been 11 years. And with each new iteration and each new attempt to elevate that flavor profile, we approach it with a lot of respect and frankly fear. So in creating the recipe for Almighty Julius, and with the team executing on the brew day and the seller team caring for it and the packaging team packaging it, every step of the way, the very best of Treehouse's know-how, understanding and intention is delivered into this can. So we're excited with the way that it turned out. It's early June and every June means the Treehouse anniversary time. And right now, the reason we brewed this beer is in celebration of our 11th year. So, Pours in a glass. Julius just has a different look about it. It's a deep orange, but it's also super hazy and just gorgeous. And this beer is thick and luscious and delicious. So again, this beer clocks in at 9.4% alcohol. Anytime for us alcohol gets above 8%, it's really, 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 really hard to maintain balance and flavor profile that we seek to make the beer delicious all the way through your glass. And ever so slowly over the years, we've worked hard to figure out how to make a beer that's 9.4% as enjoyable and drinkable as Julius, which sits at just 6.8%. So really happy with the way this turned out. Ton of malt on the brewing side, ton of body, and frankly, one of the biggest hop charges that we've ever done in a batch of Julius before. But the beauty is that the alcohol content and the base balance out that hop charge. So it's nothing but bright orange, citrus, melon, and all those things that you've come to love about our beer 
with nothing off putting an abrasive. Whoa! That's the beauty of a beer like this is that it's Julius at the core. It's simply more of it. And that may not be your preference. Frankly, it's not my preference. But we do this, try to see where we can take our brewing, see where it can wind up, and see how far we can take that Julius idea. And for me to have this much Julius in one tiny can is an achievement that is representative of 11 years of Treehouse. All right, guys, it's the start of anniversary season for us at Treehouse. I got to get back to work. Uh, thank you for hanging out with us. I'm going to take this gin and tonic with me. A ton of exciting things happening in Treehouse land. Like I mentioned, it's our 11th anniversary, summertime. We have the full concert series happening over in Deerfield. We have new store openings on the horizon. And we have just a great summer of us doing what we do best. We thank you guys for being along for the ride. If you're not already a subscriber to the channel, doing so helps Michael and I tremendously grow our, grow our reach and encourages us to do more videos. As always, we appreciate your comments. Uh, thank you for watching. Be good to each other.